Hey guys, Kelly here, your real estate ninja, and today I want to do a video. Now this video isn't going to talk about lead generation per se, uh, how to generate free leads, how to use Facebook, YouTube, uh, pay-per-clicks or whatever, how to capture sellers, how to use banner season to crank out some serious buyer lead gen. Now today we're going to talk about um, how to get in and create really cool um, marketing pieces that you can post on YouTube, Facebook, Insta, uh, Pinterest, and guys, Today, I'm going to show you how, and, and for me, I do a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do it, and you'll get in the know on all of these videos that I do. But I want to show you some of the really cool tricks you can do with Canva. And I'm going to use a uh, Facebook, I'm sorry, a YouTube uh, thumbnail to show you how I upload these thumbnails into my YouTube. Now, why is that important? Um, you know, gone are the days of putting in these these cheesy generic postcards or posting something on Facebook where you've got a picture of a house and free home of that. What if you could really trick up that picture, right, and make it just absolutely shine? So um, today we're going to talk about how you can do that. I'm very excited. And now this is a basic introduction, but one of the things you're going to need, and they're still doing it, you go to canva.com forward slash pro forward slash, get a free 30 day subscription on their pro platform. And I think I pay like 14 bucks a month for it. Well worth it. Uh, especially if you want to get into YouTube and really kind of take your social media postings to the next level. It's so well worth it. But anyway, let me go back. So what I did is when I went into my um, Canva account, I said I wanted to create and it asked me what I wanted to create. And I picked a thumbnail for YouTube. So what I did is I went to my uploads and here's one of the pictures that I have and I went ahead and, and brought it over here. Now what's really cool about this is I can take and make that background as opaque as I want, right? If I wanna go like that, boom. Now for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it as much as possible. Boom, because I really like that. All right, so again, you can, you can find anything that you want Download it to your computer. Now with Canva Pro, they give you tons of really cool free stuff. But anyway, I digress. If you have something that's that's downloaded to computer, upload it to Canva, bring it over here, and boom, now you've got something. So the other thing I did, guys, you ever wonder how people take photographs of themselves and they cut out the background? Now there's a lot of different things, and I bought them over the years, that you can buy that remove the background. You know, you, you have to start drawing all around yourself, and I hate those things. Canva kind of changed the game. It's like they were they were thinking about what I wanted. They got into my brain and they pulled this out and said, Kelly would like a background removal tool. Bing! They did it. So guys, check this out. If I bring my picture over to here, right? And then I go ahead and hit effects and I just simply click background removal. Watch what happens. It's going to magically erase the background. And guys, look, all of it's gone. I didn't do anything. I just hit a button and I can make this as big as I want, as small as I want. I can move it around. Ooh. I can move it around, do whatever. Right. So again, once you have a, uh, an uploaded picture that you really like and you want to go ahead and brand it to you, drop a picture of you, remove the background, put it wherever you want. Now the next thing is doing some text. So watch this. I'm going to put a text over there. We'll just keep it that. Now you can, you can call this whatever you want. Um, you can say, I am an awesome realtor. Booyah, right? And there you go, right? So what you can do from there is we want to change the font on this, right? And so in Canva, you go up here and you can pick whatever font you want. Now, I really like this luckiest guy, and that's what this is. So I went ahead and chose that as my font. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So let's go to 42 to match everything else, right? So here's a really cool trick. Now, you notice how I have, well, before I do that, let me show you this. If I want to come over here and go to effects on that and pick a, um, an effect for that text, it'll do it for me. Here's a lift. This is a splice. This is an echo. And one that I really started liking a lot of, let me move me just a second is this glitch. Man, I really like that. Look what it does. It's just such a cool way to do it. Now, when you're done with that, watch watch what happens. You see how I've got the box around here? You know, in the past, and again, this is how Canva went into my brain and said, okay, what is it Kelly would like? 
something easy to put boxes around text. You know, before you had to go and pick things and size it and cut. Man, all I have to do is hit R on my computer and it gives me a text box. And then all I have to do is bring this puppy down to whatever I want, right? And if I want to change the color, I go up here and I can make it whatever color I want. I can go here. I can go there. I can go there. I can do a gray one. I can do a brown. I can do a yellow, a green. I mean, the sky is the limit. And guys, that's how you can create an amazing thumbnail or how you can create something that you can post on your social media accounts. So guys, that's it. When you're done, I'm basically going to hit download. I'm going to ask for it to be in a JPEG. And there you go. It's going to download to my computer. Let's go see what it looks like on my Facebook. So let me go ahead and put this onto my pictures right there. Oh, guys, hang with me. Hang with me. Now I'm going to go to Facebook. There I am. There we go. All right. So here we are. I'm now on Facebook. So what do I want to do? I want to go here. I want to go ahead and drop a photo. I'm going to go to my pictures and let's find what I just created. There it is. So Facebook's now uploading it from my computer and you can say whatever you want here. I'm going to delete this by the way, cause I'm not done with it, but here's what it's going to look like. Boom. See that the local real estate market's hot. Ask me how to save thousands. Now I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because I'm going to do something different in a little while. But guys, I just wanted to show you how simple that was to use Canva. And again, I know I'm flip-flopping between URLs, but guys, there it is right there. Canva.com forward slash pro. Get yourself the free 30 day trial and start playing around with this. But again, this is going to take for those of you that do a lot of uh, YouTube creation and you use different tools to get a thumbnail. This you can do in seconds. Well, literally in minutes. Um, you can also create really awesome content for your social media. I hope that was uh, something of value to you. And um, as always, make sure you hit subscribe and uh, be ready for my next video. I've got some great stuff coming for you guys. Have a great day. This is Kelly, your Ninja Realtor. I'll talk to you on the other side.